Alright, welcome to part two of my playthrough of Call of Cthulhu. I actually lost my original part two recording, so I do know what's going to happen in these next few parts. Uh, I just want to say, but I was running back through, just to get back up to like this point, um, I picked up some sleeping pills right here. Uh, I got them in my inventory. Let me, where, where are they? If I can find it. No, there we go, knowledge right here. Got some sleeping pills. And uh, basically... Could pause it if you want to read it. Um, I've been taking them for my insomnia, but they're starting to wear off. Looks like I got some real bad case of PTSD going. So, uh, when we left in part one, we were going to pick up the phone, so let's do that. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigating over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay, so it looks like uh, um, this is just a little shoe-in for us to go through. Um, let's put some points to um, go choose our skills. So uh, I think they were pretty good at strength professional, strength investigation. And I think it will be useful to put some points into uh, medicine. So let's do that. Um... So let's think, if, if I can either do eloquence or occultism and get to the next level, and then I have enough to uh, put two points into spot hidden, um, or I can just go up to the next level on these two. I'm mean, actually going to leave these for now. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if we'll be able to go back and like put more points into these later. So let's go two into spot hidden, and... Eloquence or occultism or psychology for that matter. So let's uh, read it. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving this skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussions. Uh, here we have occultism. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of myth. Um, this pops up a lot in <laughs> Lovecraft. Uh, here we have psychology. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior, improving skills. This skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. Eloquence, we already went over that. So I think I'm going to go into occultism because I'm like awful at it right now. And at least with these, I have a little bit of a basis going on. So let's back that out. And we're going to validate. Hit enter. And yeah. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. 
They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay, let's do some uh, good old-fashioned investigative work. Let's take a gander at the painting. Let's go in the notebook. So this is what we have to do. So, um, okay, let's take a peek at the painting. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. Okay. So look at the, at the painting. Uh, it looks pretty similar to what happened to us in our dream where we had the mysterious figure coming at us. I think that the, uh, I think that the, the paint splatters might be referencing the, uh, the tentacles that came out of the guy's hand. So, let's go over here to the file. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Go ahead and read that if you want to pause it. Um, I've already read through all this when I re recorded this before. Um, okay. Let's get so, back to it. Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Just go through. Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. Mm, just kind of like make him think we're on his side by being like, yeah, you know, something's up. Was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay. Mental you frailty. Must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. I'm a private investigator, not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. All right, then, Warehouse 36. I think we should poke ahead in there. Uh, seems to be where the painting came from. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. Then you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. It looks like the uh, conversations go in like th like that kind of clockwise shape starting down here. Uh, so let's go, and I think that we've got all we needed from him. I so let's. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of. Promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the 
death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Okay. So, I um, just want to say that... I don't know. If, if you look at the painting, kind of like... I don't know if you can do it on again. If you look at the painting, kind of like it's a... Um, let me find the picture. Kind of like it's a, a vision of the future. You can maybe think that it wasn't Sarah who actually started the fire. It was whatever this figure is. Because you see that Sarah's trying to protect her son from this figure who was standing between her and the fire as like kind of like hearkening itself. So, yeah. Let's get back to finding the book about dark water. So right over here. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Okay. So, um, Darkwater Island. You can pause if you'd like to read it. Just a whale hunting island um, that has this mysterious god figure on it. Uh, Elder gods, very common in Lovecraft lore. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Okay. Here is a book that increases our medical knowledge. So it's going to raise. We were at 20% before. Let's see where we are now. Yeah. Now it gave us a little 2%. A little, little extra bonus. Uh, fun enough. It'll get us to our next level faster. So uh, in the last video, I did not take the drink. But I'm going to do it now. And drinking affects my destiny now. Maybe I'll avoid it. But you know what? Nice glass of whiskey on a whatever season it is. No. God, Boston is so humid. So cold drink is pretty necessary. Alright. So this is going to be the end of part two. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'll be recording part three just after I finish getting this all edited and uploaded. So uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> because I'm that guy now. I remember to say that at the end of the video. Uh... Apart from that, uh, thanks for watching, have a good day, and uh, keep your eye out for part three. Thank you.